Right, this is the um, introductory video to the uh, to the channel. Um, what I thought I'd do is go through um, well, what the channel covers um, and a few of the things. So, the kind of things I'd like to look at and what we're gonna what we're going to cover is if I go to the uh, first slide here is um, what kind of videos I'm going to produce, um, where to get the exam papers from. Uh, why I think they're useful, what kind of, you know, a response I've had in terms of my students, uh, resources for time planning, uh, different methods for making it interesting and which websites are useful. All right. Um, well what this channel is for, I've had many students and what we do is we practice exam papers and as it's got closer and closer to exams, uh, one of them actually recommended that I shoot some videos. So here you have those videos uh, available to the world. What we're going to look at is how to answer exam questions. The key information that you need to pick out from exam questions and not always starting from the beginning. And I wrote that down because sometimes what we have is this habit from GCSE of starting at the beginning and just, you know, trying to f solve a problem that way. But sometimes there are clues in an exam question where, you know, you don't start from the beginning. Okay, uh, where to get exam papers from? You have your usual places, AQA, OCR, um, the websites. But also, I quite like extremepapers.org. Um, unusually spelt, but they have legacy papers going back. I think I've seen some on there back to the 90s. Um mapsandscience.net and test.co.uk for a whole host of resources. TESS is a Times Education Supplement. Um, and there, what I do is, on both those sites, I upload exam questions that are topic specific. So I'll have maybe uh, 10 questions that have turned up in the last five years on infrared spectroscopy. Um, or balancing equations. Okay, so that's uh, where to get exam papers from and the different kinds of formats. Uh, why are they useful? Well, the reason they're useful is exam questions are asked in a host of different ways. And you've got to get used to the language. Um, and the second thing, the, the, one of the really interesting things is exam boards do not rewrite exam papers every year. So they recycle a lot of questions. And what I found is that um, a lot of my students who've done maybe the last five, six years of exam papers available to the workers, they've found that sometimes as much as 70 or 80% of the questions have been recycled. And the third point is that you, you gain a really clear picture of where all the marks are coming from. Right. Time planning. Really important. It's really weird if you time plan. And the, the, the most efficient way of time planning is to use a, an Excel file. And I'll put a link up on here. Uh, an Excel file where what you will do is you look at um, all the 24 hours of a day broken out in 15 minute slots. You don't change what um, You can also, on something like masternscience.net, build your own quiz and it's trackable. In other words, it, it'll, it'll log your score on a quiz. And you can build your own quiz, put your own questions in, um, and it'll log your answers. Um, and you can and you can look at how you've improved over the month, six months. Okay. Right. Which websites are useful? As I said, OCRAQA, extremepapers.org, mathsandscience.net for interactive quizzes. Um, Test.co.uk, and I'm saying this again, has over 300,000 resources that teachers, those crazy teachers, create. And we just make them available to the world. And then, of course, you've got YouTube, which has some brilliant um, videos. Funnily enough, like for interactive quizzes, um, Test.co.uk, and I'm saying this again, has over 300,000 resources that teachers those crazy teachers create, and we just make them available to the world. And then, of course, you've got YouTube, which has some brilliant um, videos. 
funnily enough, lacking on exam questions, this is why I'm making these, there are some, um, but I think the more the merrier, and, and there aren't actually that many. And the big thing is, all these sites are free. Anyway, that's the intro to the resources I use, the, the reason for the channel and how the channel works, and where you can get the specific papers and mark schemes um, and resources that I'll use. Okay, thank you and good night.